Happy Memorial Day, everybody. It's Nick G from GlobalCurrencyReset.net. I just wanted to uh, share with you this article that I just wrote. It's about 3 in the morning right now. It's Monday, May 26, 2014. It's Memorial Day, officially. Um, so I'm just going to read this article out to you, and I'm just kind of just show you this. This is a, a picture that I took when I was in the Navy. I'd actually take it. Somebody had to take it for me, of course, but that's me there in a... Uh, Hong Kong Harbor, and we were, we were just getting ready to go off, and I'd never been to Hong Kong before. I was um, sta I'm stationed in Japan originally when this was taken, and uh, you can see the uh, the Blue Ridge. You can see some of the guys here with their backpacks on, getting ready to leave, um, and some of the guys here who are working, who are wearing their um, they're wearing their coveralls. You probably can't see it, but if you download this picture, you can zoom in. So I did provide this picture for everybody. Okay, um, so I'm just going to read this article for you, and I will talk a little bit about the reset at the end, but not much because this is a, a date when I don't really want to think about that stuff. So, hi everyone. Hope you're all having a great Memorial Day. Unfortunately, I, even though I am a Navy veteran, I have to go into work today as I was unable to avoid it this year. The picture above was taken to me in Hong Kong Harbor aboard the USS Blue Ridge in 2002. You can click the picture for full size. And since there are people who visit this website from countries like Canada, India, Sweden, Australia, New Zealand, and other parts of the world, I have to post this message from my heart. So please feel free to share it. So I dedicate this to the human race, most importantly those who lost their lives defending freedom. Memorial Day 2014, a federal holiday, is a day that we celebrate here in the United States where we set aside a day to remember the men and women who died serving our great nation in the armed forces, Navy, Marines, Air Force, and Coast Guard. We remember our fallen soldiers, and it was called Decoration Day during the American Civil War. And it's also a time where we remember that there are very powerful people in this world who really don't care about you and I, and they're only in it for the money. There are politicians who go in office with less than 50,000, but they leave with millions, tens of millions, and in some cases, hundreds of millions. And no one seems to question that fact, but it's well known, but often overlooked. For me, I don't spend Memorial Day just thinking about my fellow brothers and sisters who died serving in the United States military. I look at the ones who are homeless on the street, left behind because society forgot about them. I think about the parents of Pat Tillman, how the parents of Pat Tillman must feel knowing that they were lied to regarding how their son was killed by his own troops. I think about Jessica Lynch, about how the media and the army spun the story of what really happened to her trying to make her like a female version of Rambo just to increase signups and how her testimony about what really happened to her made people everywhere begin to question the official story. I think about the men and women I meet at the VA hospitals who have fought in Vietnam, fought in the Gulf War, and fought for this nation, yet now they fight just to stay alive another day. Some of you may never know what people like that go through each day. Well, I have seen during my time in the military and my time meeting with them since I've returned pain of such a magnitude that it goes beyond what most of us can comprehend. To those people who have never met an injured veteran, just count yourself blessed because it's hard living day in and day out knowing that if you only had enough money that you could save someone from suicide, depression, anxiety, and loneliness and personally, I struggle with depression. I'm a disabled veteran. And let me tell you something. You have no idea what it's like for me to go into a VA hospital for an appointment and to have to see my friends missing limbs with part of their face burnt from an IED explosion. And if you could only imagine the daily struggle with pain these people have. Sadly, some of you complain about your phone not working or your internet being too slow. Imagine not having arms. Think about that. Consider during Memorial Day 2014, returning veterans from Iraq and Afghanistan. Some have turned to alcohol, some drugs, and as some of you know, we veterans are considered the number one threat to the United States.
Some Americans use Memorial Day 2014 as an excuse to shop for deals online, t to find cheap clothes, or to get beer for a party. What in the world does any of that have to do with Memorial Day? This country is so lost. I'm in complete and utter disbelief that I serve my country when I see what it has become. I see the teenagers who come into my place of business. They're all like robots on their iPhones or iPods, and everybody's so busy texting and surfing the web or talking on the phone or listening to music that no one bothers talking to anyone anymore. You know what I love besides having deep conversations with my wife? I absolutely love meeting people who are over 60, who have knowledge of just how far downhill the United States is. I run into people all the time on food stamps, and they have no plans to get off of them. I see food stamps as debt slavery. They know that if they make too much, food stamps are reduced or denied. And if they don't make enough, then they starve. So they try to find a middle ground. I recently came across a video where people actually thought that President John F. Kennedy died in a car crash in January 2014. Here's the link to that video, and you can see that. It's disgusting. Not the video it's itself, just the people in this country who are so gone. And after seeing that video, we as Americans, we must have to ask ourselves how far gone is our country. I'm really glad Memorial Day 2014 weekend has passed. And as for the global currency reset, I'm not thinking about it on Memorial Day 2014. I have posted videos and article links below because I, th I think how many of Americans died. I mean, see, I just read that wrong. I'm just, I'm just really emotional about this, guys. I posted videos and article links below because think about how many Americans died in Iraq to bring us the dinar revaluation. Now, I'm still optimistic for it to happen in 2015, but I'm not waiting each day because my primary concern is looking for someone with a sign that says, need help, need a job, need food. The, now, the reset will happen in due time, but I don't listen to the dinar calls. I don't search the web for news about the GCR. What I do is pray, and prayer is powerful. Memorial Day 2014 is about remembering fallen heroes, not drinking, not Memorial Day sales. As for us, we'd love to help people. My wife and I do what we can to help. I gave my wife $100 to give to a homeless person yesterday, and it felt so good knowing that I changed someone's life, I made their day, and encouraged that person to overcome their struggle and to try and do better. That person poured their heart out, crying about the abuse they received as a child, as a teenager, rejection from their mother, the father was in prison, and we were there to help this person out. And it feels good to help someone. What's the history of Memorial Day? Think of the men and women who died in battle. I encourage all of you to go out, find someone who needs help and help them out. Bring them food, clothing, shoes, whatever you can do to help them. You know it's gonna come back to you tenfold. So why not make a difference in someone's life today? If you are concerned that if you give money that they will just go and buy beer or drugs, then give them a hat. Summer's here, it's hot. A hat is great. Or give them a bottle of water. I mean, what's the cost? About two bucks? Let's make Memorial Day 2014 a day where we can make a difference in someone's life. Not just look at it as a day for us to drink and be selfish. Let's help humanity. Let's help our veterans and the widows of veterans. God bless you all. Enjoy Memorial Day 2014. Okay. Um... And I, I put a link here for the Jessica Lynch testimony because um, I, I had referenced that earlier. And she was that woman who, you know, they claimed that she had protected uh, a bunch of people. Later on, it, it turns out that she, you know, she got attacked and she was actually hiding and crying. So uh, I'm not saying that what she, she did wasn't heroic because when you're in battle, it, unless you've been in that position, you don't know how to react. But they, they acted like she... Um, she was like a female Rambo. And what they really do is they're trying to get women to join the army. And if you talk to people in the army, they'll tell you the same thing. Um, so just, you know, that, that that's that. Um, I left a, a, a picture here that you probably won't forget. It's this widow crying over her fallen husband's casket. And they tried to hide these, these casket pictures. You guys probably remember that. So you could just type in... Um, Casket of fallen soldiers, and 
and you'll see that these were the pictures that they were they were trying to hide these pictures and unfortunately they got out and um, yeah, George Bush wasn't happy about this um, but you know what people need to see what's really happening they need to understand you know don't forget about how many people have died in Iraq and Afghanistan and not just there but Vietnam and all these wars that didn't they never needed to be fought guys none of these wars needed to be fought um, Oh, who cares about this? If, if you haven't seen this video, you can check it out, but I don't really care. I mean, there's a link here to it. I mean, it's about Memorial Day, so um, just let people know what's happening. L let them know what Memorial Day is really about, okay? All right, that's it. Um, reply below if you have any questions about me, you know, my time in the service. Um, if you need some organizations to help out, you could probably just go online and just search for um, help homeless veterans. Um, you could probably go down to your local mission, your s shelter, bring them some food, bring them some water, bring them something. I mean, anything you could do is gonna is gonna help these people out. Okay, thanks for listening, everybody. I hope you have a great Memorial Day.